people like to come together at mealtimes. They enjoy each other's company while they're enjoying good food. Hey gang, welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you've been here before. I am about to show you a full day of eating, what I eat on an average day. I am not bulking, I am not cutting, I am just maintaining my healthy weight. Gotta eat to live, gotta still to eat, tell you all about it when I got the time. And this is what I eat in an average day. Okay, so I do start my day with apple cider vinegar in water. I take a tablespoon in water. You want to get the one with the mother. <laughs> it actually doesn't taste that bad. If you've seen my previous videos, you've seen this smoothie. However, this is one of my favorite go-tos. Maple syrup, sprouted protein, organic baby spinach, quarter of an avocado, spoonful of cacao powder, not cocoa, cacao is better for you, pure pumpkin, not pumpkin pie filling, pure pumpkin, about a quarter cup, a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, a scoop of greens for bone, and two packs of stevia along with a few ice cubes. Let's get this. Forgot to mention, I do also put one whole bottle of water in there. I just refill these kombucha glass bottles. So that's 480 ml that I put in here. Handy dandy green smoothie button. One minute later. So that all blended together makes just over two and a half cups per smoothie so i fill each of these one i will have with my breakfast haven't decided what else i'm having yet and one i will have later on as a snack or with my lunch so it's been a little bit about an hour since i had my first smoothie and i'm just making the next thing i'm going to eat the second part of my breakfast which will be two hard-boiled eggs on two pieces of the udi's udi's what you might call it gluten-free soft multigrain loaf unbelievably delicious little bit of mayo there gonna toast it up and i'll show you when it's done if you don't yet have one of these little egg slicers this is the best invention ever for eggs on toast check it out totally sliced this is what i will be eating as the rest of my breakfast and then I will be going for a one hour walk at the mall because it's winter here and it's gross out. Why do you like walking the mall so much? Well, there's more early in the morning, not too many people. Oh. You don't have to bang in. The walking is very important. <laughs> time I go Ooh. like that, sometimes I go like that. Really? And then I will be coming home for lunch. Okay, now that I've had the eggs on toast, I am going to be having my supplements. I portion them out into these handy little containers. That's blurry as all heck, but that's okay. So on a daily basis, I am taking L-theanine, B12, vitamin D, uh, probiotic and digestive enzymes, fish oil, cranberry, did I say B12, and calcium. So that's what I'm taking. <laughs> I'm also going to be having that with a tea. I don't like to drink conventional caffeine, like coffee, I find it to be very toxic, or black tea, but I am drinking today this. Pay no mind to the skinny mini, that was a gift, but this is yerba mate. Yerba mate is a natural stimulant. It's lunchtime. Lunch, lunch, it's time for lunch. So I always listen to an audiobook as I'm walking. I want to recommend Wall's Protocol audiobook. This book is incredible. It was written by somebody, a doctor, who cured their own MS using various means such as nutrition. But it's not only about MS. There's nobody in my life touched by MS, thankfully. Neither is myself. However, I do help a lot of clients with MS. I've been 100% successful so far using the exact same principles. MS has various causes, so I don't want to blanket this for everybody's case, but Wells Protocol, here's what it looks like. Oh, I wish that would focus for you. It won't focus. It was written by Terry Walls, W-A-H-L-S-M-D. And uh, yeah, so I always listen to an audiobook so I can expand my knowledge as I wander around. It's lunch time, relax. I am cooking up some turkey bacon. This is the reduced sodium butter ball bacon style turkey. 
It is delicious. Obviously, it's not the greatest thing for you, but it's delicious. And I am having the other half of that giant smoothie I made this morning and an apple. And I will touch base with you on my way back or when I get home again. Why is snacking important? Is it important? It's critically important. If you look at folks who want to lose weight in particular, uh, it's a fallacy to think you should eat three balanced meals a day and nothing else. The way our metabolism works, the way our hormones function, every couple of hours you want something in your mouth. I never travel anywhere without nuts. I still have these little Kit Kat bites from Christmas. This is how small it is, but I'm going to eat this on my way to my clients. And then I did save the apple. It's coming with me. Might be having that on my way home. I ended up having my apple on my way home from my appointment. So now this is not a normal go-to of mine. I had a random can of vegetarian baked beans kicking around. I never buy those. I don't know why I had them. Can't remember. Must have picked them up on a whim someday. But I am so much hungrier than I thought I was going to be. So I am having these baked beans on toast and it's going to be the same toast, the UDI's gluten-free multigrain that I had for breakfast. And that is what I'm having as this random snack. So here's what that looks like. Not sexy, I know, but this is gonna fill me up. Tons of protein, that's good. Hey, so I ate the baked beans on toast. If it works for you, then why the hell not put beans on toast? My verdict, uh, I'm not sure what the big deal is about beans on toast. I know it's like a thing. That was my maiden voyage. I've never had it before. My goodness, check out these bags. Anyways, <laughs> I'm not gonna be including that in my daily life. Uh, like I said, I never buy those beans, so I won't be buying them again. Normally I'll have a small bowl of yogurt and granola, which I'm actually gonna have I think in a little while, or I'll have a small salad, something like that if I get as hungry as I am now between lunch and dinner. So that was kind of a fail. I did put no sugar organic ketchup on it, which made it better, but yeah, mm. on to the next. I feel so unsatisfied. Yeah, so that beans on toast left me still jonesing for something else because it was super unsatisfying to me. So this is plain Greek yogurt and I've got some gluten-free granola was in here as well as some morning crisp cereal, I believe. Cashews, vanilla, almonds, things like that. I will be having that in a little bowl. Normally I do put banana in there or berries and some peanut butter or honey or such, but I'm just gonna have a little bit of this for now because the beans on toast did fill me a bit. So I'm not gonna go crazy with this snack, but this is what I'll be having. I already ate half of it, forgetting to film that for you, but yeah, not sexy. Put a little bit of honey on top for some flavor. That's it. It's dinner time. I am so hungry. I am going to have one portion of Pacific Cod and some about half a cup dry, so about a cup cooked of brown rice. I have some organic veggies, just frozen, cooking here. And I picked up this sauce, this curry sauce. I went out for Indian last week and I had the most amazing mixed veggie curry. It was freaking delicious. So I picked up this sauce from the grocery store all natural ingredients, no MSG, no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. It is vegan. It just looks delicious. It's medium. It says on the back though, it's concentrated, but to empty the whole thing to serve four to five people, it's just me. So I'm just gonna see what I can do. Mix it with a bit of water, put it in those veggies, throw the cod in with the brown rice, and we're gonna have some fish and veggie curry rice tonight. I've never made anything like this. I also like to live dangerously. I don't know, I love these cod fillets. I love mixed veggies, I love rice. Sometimes I put tamari, which is gluten-free soy sauce on there. Tonight I'm gonna try for Indian. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you posted. I am also going to snack on these Mary's crackers with some Diet dairy free cream cheese right here. Delicious. 
This looks amazing so far. I mixed the rice in with the veggies once it was all cooked and uh, the curry paste and some water. It tastes delicious. The beauty about cod is that it actually will take on, much like tofu, whatever flavor that you're cooking it in. So it will be delish. So that's it, that's what I eat in a day. Kettle was on, I'm just gonna shut that off for sound's sake. I am going to make an at-home hot chocolate where I use one tablespoon of cacao powder, one cup of almond milk, and some stevia, and a little bit of maple syrup. So that's what I'm having for my dessert. I don't know the macros in this, but that's what I ate today. Low fat, low-ish calories. I don't really count calories, I don't know. Tons of protein, absolutely delicious. Please subscribe to this channel. Subscribing really is where the support does come from. And once I hit 500 subscribers, I am giving away an awesome fitness enthusiast prize pack. It's got some gym equipment that you can take with you to the gym and such. So check that out at 500 subs. Please subscribe to help get me there. If you would like notifications of when future videos are posted, please hit that little bell icon down below and you'll be sent a notification each time I post a new video. Have super amounts of fun in your life until next time. Have super amounts of fun eating whatever you want in a dang day. And don't be so stressed about counting calories and tracking macros unless you do have a show coming up or some kind of body goal you're really trying to achieve. Life is much more fun when you just live it by intuitive eating. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.